From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. Washington isn't known for its affordable housing and with a lot of people coming here right after college, housing might be tight. But just because you live in a small space doesn't mean you can't live in style. So for the next five weeks, we're going to explore ways to maximize your life with big ideas for very small spaces. Denise Willard is the owner and principal for Decor by Denise and she's starting things off today with a look at the master bedroom. <laughs> so and of course you think master bedroom, but in, in this day and age and in this area, you know, depending what you have, and what you're renting, right. it may not feel as master, but our goal today is to make it feel like a real master. Absolutely. With what you're doing. So the first um, tip you have, and we're, we have a couple pictures we're going to share with everybody, okay. is to create a focal point. You've heard this before, and what do you recommend when you say this? Well, basically, especially in a small space, you really want to create a focal point because um, it will ha help Excuse me. It will help you when um, when you enter the space. It helps to detract from the fact that it's smaller than it should should be. Mm -hmm. So we want to really, you know, really uh, spend a lot of time and emphasize that. What are some things you recommend using a go-to source to be a focal point in a room? Um, well, definitely your bed is always one of the best places to build a focal point, and especially in a small space, that's probably all you're going to have. In other rooms, sometimes we will have, you know, a fireplace or something. But in this instance, we're using uh, wallpaper and some drapes that are flanked. Up, oh, we flipped through, through it a little fast, but that's okay. <laughs> we move quick here. Um, that's okay. And in this instance here, we have a painted wall that's basically an accent wall with a um, stencil above it. And basically, what happens is your eye is so drawn to those walls that you sort of forget about the lack of space around it. And it moves up rather than looking in other Absolutely. parts of the and, room. In the first um, picture, which we didn't really look at in detail, there were two drapes that were uh, flanking mm -hmm. um, the, the wallpaper. There because, you go again. Yeah, because they're floor to ceiling drapes, um, that also draws your eye up and again helps you to not focus so much on the lack of space. At first, when we looked at that, I thought it was this huge headboard, but that's in fact wallpaper exactly. that you've done. Yeah, and you can use artwork, you can use mirrors, you can use wall uh, photos, you know, these wall photo murals that you can have made. You can use all kinds of things to create the same effect and do it very inexpensively. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's move on to converting closets. Okay. Now, I've seen this in some of the decorator shows, so it can be done, but I think a lot of people think, well, that's for the professionals. So <laughs> we're going to try to help you do what the professionals do right. by converting a closet into some workspace. So how do we, what's the best way to go about this? Well, first of all, you need to determine if you really need the workspace and if you can give up your closet, because mm -hmm. a lot of people can't. In this case, you can see they've converted this um, beautiful closet into a beautiful space that's very functional and has lots of storage. And then when at the end of the day when you're done working, you can just close the drapes and have it look really, really pretty. Um, so that's one great idea for how to use your closet space. But again, you have to be willing to give up your closet. Oh, that's a hard one for all us girls out there. <laughs> and, and you added some storage space right above it. So you really used everything you had. Right. There's basically all kinds of um, organization built into this to really maximize the space because, again, it's a small space, not a lot of extra space to, you know, to really give up but really needed a workspace to make it work for the for the homeowner. Next up, we're talking about mirrors. Yes. And mirrors can help in a lot of ways for small, small spaces. So right. tell us about that. Okay, well, the, the example we have here is just using doors. Basically, a lot of times people will talk about using mirrors that are really sort of bland and sort of ugly. You can put a big mirror on the wall, or, or you can actually convert your doors to mirrors. But usually they're these ugly looking mirrors. The example <laughs> I had today, I don't know if it's up here or not, but we'll get it up is here actually a, a really pretty, um, they're these these doors that have decorative etchings and things in them. There you go. And look at that. It's actually a beautiful thing to look at and it's a door. So it will maximize the space, but it's not those ugly looking, just plain boring mirrors. That Something you like this see. pretty pricey though? Um, it can be, but it depends on the size of the space. Um, it can be, though, so you just have to look at different options. But there are some that are less expensive. So Okay, good to know. Yeah. Next up, using drapes. We, we saw a sneak peek of this. Drapes for your closet doors. Absolutely. It's a great way to maximize the space. Instead of having big doors that open or bifold doors or any of that, get rid of the doors and put floor to ceiling drapes. The key is to make sure they're floor to ceiling mm -hmm. and to make sure they're also the same color as the wall color because then they blend in and they don't really draw attention to themselves. Okay. 
okay. and then they really just make the whole space sort of flow together and it, again maximizes a small space. It makes them look like they're supposed to be there. You, you don't think it's such an eyesore. Exactly and actually they're pretty nice and if they're floor to ceiling again they elongate the space and draw your eye up so you forget about the lack of space around it. Yeah nicely done. Yeah. Okay last but not least let's talk about rugs. Going with a bold rug. Yes. Well, basically, the concept here is to keep everything else sort of simple. So, everything from your wall color to your bedding and things like that would be very neutral and, and sort of monochromatic. And then you'd add this big, bold rug underneath everything to really give it a splash. Oh, yeah, you see it with this one. Um, this is actually from a San Francisco designer, but I really love this example. And so, you can see the whole room is sort of simple, except a few pops of color, but the rug really pulls it together and makes the space look way bigger than it is. And I just love it. And it's easy to do. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it definitely sets your eyes on the floor. Great tips, Denise. Good to have you on. Thank you. You always have some great stuff. And like we said before, this is kind of a five-step program. Absolutely. This is the first <laughs> of five, so we'll see you again soon. Right now, we're going to toss to Dave Lucas, who's standing by in the newsroom with uh, the president that's uh, addressing the nation very soon. Dave. Channel 8 Special Report.